I'm in Tucson at Arizona K-12 Center's camp plug and play, and I'm about to do a little evening session with some teachers, and we're going to talk about Google Forms and Sheets and how it can make teaching easier. So if you're here on Periscope and you have a way that you use Google Forms and Sheets to make your life easier, let me know. And before we get started here, I thought I would talk to some of our great campers here about how they use Google Forms and Sheets or what they want to know about it. So, so I'll pick on you since you're right here. <laughs> First of all, tell me what you're eating because this is important. I'm eating ch chocolate nachos. It's a, it's a signature uh, dessert that we have here at Camp Plug and Play. So chocolate nachos. They're awesome. <laughs> and do you use Google Forms and Sheets? I have not, so that's why I'm here. So, what, what, what attracted you to uh, coming tonight besides the chocolate nachos? I want to learn about Google Forms. Okay. I what I can do. Yeah, and there, there's a lot. Um, chocolate nachos, the internet's saying yum. It's true. They, in fact, we'll, we'll travel back to the huge dish of chocolate nachos. People are saying they, they love it for assessments, and Flubaru is something that we'll work together today to see. Hey, Sherry. Oh, yeah, let's see. You got some chocolate nachos. Ooh, anecdotal observations for writing conferences. Yeah, all angles. Do you think you can... <laughs> Look, is that a, a, you need some eyes, and that could be a real-life emoji. There's the chocolate there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Welcome. So uh, if, if I can grab you as you're coming in. Now, now, first first question, why aren't you getting chocolate nachos? I just had Chipotle, and it was very filling. Ah. It was delicious. <laughs> they are. Um, people are saying that they use Google Forms and Sheets for assessments and learning checks and parent checks and pre-faculty meetings. Um being smart about their passwords. Uh, do you use Google Forms and Sheets? No, that's what I've come to learn about. <laughs> uh -huh. What do you know about it? Do you know anything? Uh, just what you told us about writing a story with different adventure endings. Uh, and I, gave, I gave a preview. Yeah. Hey, choose your own adventure stories you can actually write inside of Google Forms. So, Marilyn, what do you know about Google Forms and Sheets? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> The sad part is our district is a Google district, but they just haven't, you know, come out and trained us. Well, and the neat thing about Google Forms and Sheets is that um, really as long as the teacher has an account, the students don't need it. And that's why elementary students can use it because there's no login. You, you create the form and just give them a simple link, no login, and they're able to use it. So um, we got lots of ideas. Uh, oh, somebody said, Marilyn, you're missing out. But she's going she's gonna to join the Google Forms and Sheets Club because she's come to my session tonight. And she's not having chocolate nachos either. Huh? Not right now. Maybe in a little bit. There might, okay, there might, be, there might be some left. We'll see. Oh, welcome. <laughs> you don't want to be on the Internet getting chocolate nachos? <laughs> oh, <laughs> now. <laughs> Yeah, once you use Google Forms and Sheets, like, you never want to go back. Like, they're awesome. Hey, look at Sarah. And, oh, <laughs> there, oh, wow, there's a little bit of a difference there. So then you know the question, what do you use Google Forms and Sheets for? I use Google Forms and Sheets for assessment. I think people have already said this, but um, assessment piece. And I, I, my new favorite is Flubaroo. That's my new favorite thing. What do you know about chocolate nachos? I know a lot about chocolate nachos. Not chocolate chips, right? It's like chocolate drizzle. Do we need to talk about that? The internet wants to know. There are like 42 people watching okay. chocolate nachos. Really, really important, so make sure you're paying attention. They're like crispy cinnamon toasted chips. Um, kind of like Taco Bell has those cinnamon twists, but these are in a chip form. And then they have chocolate drizzled on top of them and then chocolate mousse that you can dip them in. And sometimes they have strawberries as well. It's white chocolate and um, dark chocolate as well. So it's a little bit of both. Chaperone interest forms is another re way that people use Google Forms. Just watching the, the chat go by. You did not get to see all the hearts that... <laughs> Well, it's going to be a 
fun time in here with the real chocolate nachos, and we have, uh, we have people learning about, uh, Google Forms and Sheets, and there's, you know, you 